Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames Collective reading. Hello! If you're new here, welcome! What is the Twin Flames Collective reading? Well, we're going to get an energy reading on the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine together collectively as one. The Twin Flames Collective reading. Ah. And why would we do it like that, Kurt? Well, it's because you are your Twin Flame. They are you in another body. That's what everybody says, right? It's one soul and two bodies. I am what you would call a Divine Feminine Twin Flame. Yeah, that's right. And my Twin Flame, who is a woman, is what you would call Divine Masculine. Indeed. But as I often regale the audience with a little science lesson in Twin Flames, if you will, it's not really that it's based on gender. Actually, not at all. It's not based on biological gender. It's based on something deeper than that. The gender labels, divine masculine, divine feminine, obviously I'm not very feminine. And if you met my so-called divine feminine twin or divine masculine twin flame, you wouldn't think she was very masculine at all. So the gender labels are not really bad at all, however. There's nothing really bad going on there, you know. And the reason for that, of course, is because they are pointing you. They are pointers. They are pointing you at something deeper. There's a lot of interesting terminology in the Twin Flame community, so-called Twin Flame community, right? That actually comes from other places, right? So, for example, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Well, what's that talking about? Well... What it's pointing you at is a deeper concept called duality, yin-yang, opposites, right? Yin-yang, alpha-omega, light-dark. And the mind is duality. So whenever you focus, remember, you are your twin flame. So whenever you focus on them mentally, emotionally, and metaphysically, they run. The harder you focus on them, the harder they're going to focus on anything but you. The mind is duality. Yin, yang. Push, pull. You push, they pull away. And it's just energy. It's not the story that matters, you guys, right? A lot of us on this journey, we want to get stuck in the story, the narrative, right? We think that's important and it's not. What's really important is the energy. It's nothing more than that, guys. It's very, very simple. Getting your twin flame to come back and stay with you permanently is simple. What you're doing is hard. What I am talking about is simple. So what's some other terminology? Hmm, well, how about separation? Separation is not physical, right? I'm in separation with my twin flame. Nope. Wrong again, buttercup. What's really going on is your twin flame is your soul, right? And when you transcend the separation consciousness of ego, the identity entity, the personality, the mind, the thinker, right? The, that which is asking the questions, that which is trying to understand. You believe that it is you who is trying to understand, but it's not. You are the observer. You are the consciousness. That's the soul, right? Remember, body, mind, soul. The soul is consciousness. It is non-duality. And the mind is duality. It's the thinker. It's the questioner, right? Now, when you derive your very sense of self from the mind, 
They call that separation consciousness, and they have always called it that for thousands of years, guys. And I'm not even talking about Twin Flames. When I say they have always called it that, the they that I speak of would be the ancient Zen spiritual mystics, the spiritual masters of the ages, right? Buddha, Jesus, Krishna, right? This is straight out of the Tao type stuff, right? Separation consciousness. There's me and there's other duality. Me, other, the mind, duality, yin, yang, alpha, omega, separation, me, who is separate from other, me, you. So that's separation consciousness. Now, ooh, damn divine feminine. Of course, this is past. That's that's nothing you didn't already know, that whole dark night of the soul. Wasn't that happy fun time? Yeah, yeah, all the good little boys and girls love divine, or not divine, but dark night of the soul. We love dark night of the soul, happy fun time. Yeah. I'm going to do that Mickey Mouse voice later for you, because I know a lot of you skip the intro to these videos. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, anyway, so guys. That's separation consciousness. When you believe you are the person, the personality, the thinker, the questioner, that which questions, that which is thinking, the ego, mind, personality, right? Like if somebody, if somebody asks you, who are you? You're going to go, oh, I don't know. I'm a teacher. I'm a mom. I'm a cab driver. I'm a banker. I'm a whatever, right? Whatever you do. I'm a tattoo artist, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is that you do, or whoever you are, you know, right? I'm a daughter, I'm whatever. And I've been to these places and I've done these things and I've had all these experiences and I have this knowledge and this information and I like these things and I don't like these other things, right? It's a story, it's a history, it's a bunch of memories, thoughts, the mind, ego, personality, and I'm not saying that's bad, that's just what that is. Okay. So, they call that separation consciousness, the mind, me, other, duality, right? You, me, here's my story about us and what we did and all this stuff. Okay. Unity consciousness, union, unity consciousness, that's what happens when you transcend the ego mind, right? And you no longer derive your very sense of self from that. You instead are deriving your sense of self from the true self, which is consciousness, the soul, right? The soul. That's what the soul is. The soul is consciousness. And that's exactly when your twin flame comes back to stay with you permanently because your twin flame is your soul. You are entering soul consciousness, unity consciousness. And again... These terminologies, separation, union, even detaching, this all comes straight out of ancient Zen spiritualism. The twin flame journey is really just the true spiritual journey, and that's all it is. Well, I got good news for you. Divine feminine, divine masculine is going to be uh, probably reaching out very soon if they have not already, and you know it. That's why the sun is coming. You fucking know it. Also, the strength card, right? It's inside. It's deeper. I just, I'm doing a video about this on Monday. Like, how would you know if your twin flame was thinking about you or if they love you? Even if they don't say so, it's internal, guys. Right? It's internal experience. The soul is this intuitive knowing that kind of overcomes you and you get this sense about something. You, you have an intuitive sense that something is true or something is about to happen, whereas the mind is just thought, and we're pretty clear about what thought is, right? So you're feeling pretty good about the future, and don't you know that divine masculine is coming back? Don't you know? Haven't you been told? And I mean, their intuition is one thing. What about all the crazy-ass experiences that you've been going through and all the numbers and synchronicities and all that kind of shit? That shit is fucking weird, dude. But your twin flame is your soul. 
Your twin flame is your soul. They are you in another body, okay? That's why the sun comes out next to strength. You have a deeper knowing, a knowing that something is different. The jig is up. Don't you? Watching, don't you? Don't you? Yes, you do. Now, why? Why? What is changing? What is happening with divine masculine? What is the story that they are not telling you, divine feminine? Well, let's start with this knight of wands right here in the subconscious Recent past for Divine Masculine, death next to the Queen of Pentacles. Exactly. So this is a change that you're not getting out of. Whatever this situation is that they are in, be it a job or a family or a relationship or whatever it is, whatever the so-called karmic situation is, I don't really like that word, but you guys, you know what I mean. So I kind of stick to the terminology that you're accustomed to, but whatever that is, what Whatever it is that seems to be keeping you guys apart, let's just say, right? That's not there to stay. It is not long for this world, guys. And they're not really focusing on it either, other than the drama and maybe like getting out. And there sure is a lot of drama going on right now. We're going to get into that in just a second. But Divine Masculine, they ain't having it, guys. They ain't having it. And I get the feeling Divine Masculine is making moves towards the door for good this time. Um, there's been a lot of back and forth with that situation. I know they've given you a lot of excuses in recent weeks, but get ready for some huge earth shattering changes. There's going to be some big shifts going on. Why? Because you are your twin flame and you're letting them go. And I see that. Um, and this is an interesting combo here. I can't wait to get to this because it's like there's going to be a like just an about face. You divine feminine, you're going to be doing an about face internally, your internal energy. Whereas before we got this four of pentacles energy, you know, clinging on too hard to divine masculine. Everybody's going, you got to detach. And you're like, how in the fuck do I do that? I love this person so much. And of course the tower next to the page of wands. Now, even though your whole world seemed to be coming, crashing the fuck down, and it was extremely painful, very, very dire, like emergency level situation. And the whole dark night of the soul, um, the breakdown of your ego, they call it ego death in ancient Zen spiritualism. It's pretty painful, guys, and the obsessive thinking is fucking bizarre. But here's the thing that this page of wands is telling you is this is the start or the spark of something new that you haven't tried before, Divine Feminine. Right. It's called transcendence. It's called leaving behind the ego mind. And by the way, if you're new here and you skipped the intro, naughty, naughty, I gave a very detailed breakdown of what twin flames are and what this journey really is using the terminology that you're used to. I would suggest you go back and listen to it. Why is that? Because these words, separation, union, detaching, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine. They came from someplace and they did not come from twin flames. They came from ancient Zen spiritualism. Why is that relevant? Because your, your twin flame is your soul, guys. You got to do soul stuff, not healing, not clearing karma, not fixing your inner child, not balancing your inner feminine and masculine. And I'm not even saying that stuff is bad, but that's not what this is, guys. Your twin flame is your soul. You have to transcend the ego. It's transcendentalism. It's ancient. That's all this is, guys. Your twin flame is your spirit. You have to do ancient Zen spiritualism. That's it. That's how you get your twin flame back, guys. Okay, and, and I know that makes sense to you. I know that you recognize that your consciousness is drastically increasing, Divine Feminine. Well, again, the soul is consciousness. That's your twin flame, guys. That consciousness is your twin flame, okay? They're inside, guys. They're inside. And I know that's making sense to you. That is exactly why these cards come out the way they do for Divine Masculine right now, the Five of Swords next to the Wheel of Fortune. And this card can go two ways, guys. It can be good luck or bad luck, and it's definitely bad, <laughs> right? So Divine Masculine, lots of drama, lots of fighting, things falling apart. They're going to basically win the argument. They're going to be right, even though it's going to be very, very ugly. Now, again, like I always tell you guys, I warn you, 
If they're getting on social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and they're shit posting about how great their life is or they're telling you how great their life is, it's not. Guys, it's not. That's why you guys watch tarot readings, isn't it? Because you want to know what's really going on. You know they're not really being honest about what's going on in their life situation or why they're running from you. They're rejecting you, but then they act differently and you're trying to figure out, well, do they love me or not? Does that make sense? And that's kind of what my video on Monday is about. Because I went through that too in the beginning with my twin flame. You know, she would say, oh, I'm not interested in you. And then she would be flirty with me and just stuff like that. It's like, wait a minute. You know, I don't know, and maybe not all of you watching are having that experience. Some of you just get straight ghosted or blocked, and I can help you with that too. I am the world's leading twin flame coach. Well over 4,000 students. I've caused more unions than anybody else. My twin flame, of course, permanently in my life. How? How? How did you do that, Kurt? I got to know. Your twin flame is your soul. That which is asking how is what you have to leave behind the ego, the mind, right? Remember, body, mind, soul, transcend the mind, guys. That's why I'm always telling you guys to read The Power of Now and watch the Samadhi movie. You want to get your twin flame back? That's what you got to do, guys. And, you know, getting into the twin flame uh, addiction, all the new agey uh, woo-woo stuff, get, get out of that stuff, guys. Go watch my coaching videos you'll, I think, find my approach very different. And I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else, but my approach is different. I am different, guys. So I'm just inviting you to go see that I have an identifiable core teaching, and I also approach this from the standpoint of science. Your twin flame is your soul. The soul is consciousness. The mind is thought, and it is duality. It's polarized. So when you focus on them, Mentally, emotionally, or metaphysically, they run away. That's why they run, because you're you know, watching tarot readings. And like I always tell you guys, the only reason I do these tarot readings is to get you onto my channel, and then I blow you up with these messages, and I tell you to go freaking watch some of my free coaching videos. <laughs> go watch those, guys. Go find my playlist on this channel. It's called How to Get Your Twin Flame. That's why you're still clinging on, guys. That's why this Nine of Wands is coming on so strong right now. But at the same time, you feel torn like, maybe I just need to change my approach. Maybe I just need to try something different and take my time. Bingo. Well, that's good, Divine Feminine. That's why I said earlier, it's like you're doing an about face. I think you're starting to get the sense that there's something deeper going on here that doesn't really have to do with this person. Right. And it is the sense that is calling you. So listen to that again. You're starting to get the sense that there is something deeper going on here other than the physical person. Right. It is the sense. The problem is the thinking about it. Okay. And if you're still having the obsessive thinking, that should be your first indication. You're being forced to transcend the mind. The ego mind breaks down when you meet your twin flame. Okay, this is your spiritual awakening, and you just have to treat it that way. This is not a twin flame journey. There's no such thing as the twin flame journey. This is really your spiritual awakening. Your twin flame is your spirit. So if you treat it like a spiritual awakening, they come back. You have to align with your spirit, your soul. That's your twin flame. That's what would cause them to come back. This isn't soulmates, guys. That's why you don't need to do healing and stuff like that. That stuff just pushes them away. Okay? So, transcending the mind is what it's all about, guys. There, there's no such thing as the twin flame journey. And I would even challenge you to leave a comment indicating as much in the comments section below. Make that affirmation right now, guys. Leave a comment down in the comments section below. Make an affirmation right now. If you understand what I'm saying right now, if this is making sense to you, if I'm getting through to you, make an affirmation. Set it in stone right now. Go down into the comments section down below and type it out right now before you forget. There is no such thing as the twin flame journey. Your twin flame is just your soul, guys. That's all this is, and you just have to treat it that way. Now, here's another thing that you could do. You could go to my website and sign up for my paid coaching. It's not expensive, guys. I don't charge thousands of fucking dollars. 
And uh, you get a lot of stuff, guys. Now, the free content, the free coaching videos all over my YouTube channel are very good. But if you want everything on a silver platter, including action steps on how to get there, go sign up for my paid coaching, guys. It's not expensive. You can even get started for $60 or $70. I have installment plans, payment plans. You can sign up today with your first payment. You get full access to the videos. If you pay in full, however, I am running a special right now. You get $50 off when you pay in full. That's all you gotta do. Go to my website, go to the Twin Flame Coaching section, and click on Pay in Full Packages, and you instantly get $50 off when you pay in full. Now, if you cannot pay in full, no problem, guys. I still have those payment plans. It's very, very affordable. I make it very easy for you to get started and you get a lot of stuff, guys. Eight and a half hours of instructional videos. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to shut down the obsessive thinking and shift energetically into your soul, which is your twin flame. And they'll unblock you, dude. They will reach out and contact you. It happens to my students all the time, guys thousands of students and that's not all guys there's also the group coaching calls four calls a week that's over eight hours of live coaching every single week you can talk directly to me or my two coaches assisting me between the three of us all three of us each of us have years of experience we've been doing this for a while now guys and my coaches help me with student one-on-ones they help me with the private facebook group they help me with this youtube channel and it's a community, guys. There's 379 people in there as of today. I checked. It, it could change at any moment, but there's 379 other students in that secret Facebook group that you can reach out to, you can talk to, and we'll get you all the way to the end, guys. All the way to the end. The videos, the Facebook group, it's all private, it's all closed. The group calls, the calls are recorded. Tools, teachings, books, everything. I hook it up fat for a little bit of money, guys. 60, 70 bucks and you're in. Sign up for my payment plan. And it's, it's affordable. It's super easy to get started, guys. All right. Communion. I'm going to have to read out of the book for this one. Communion. Well, I mean, maybe not. That, that makes absolute sense when you consider the energies in this reading. But I'm going to read out of the book anyway. Raphael. Communion. Raphael's oracle reminds you of the great Islamic tradition of the Hajj, an annual pilgrimage to Mecca where pilgrims celebrate a communion with their earthly brothers and sisters in face of the divine. The objective is the twofold rite of collective petition and praise of the divine. Therefore, observe where communion is not apparent in your life. Know that the source is within you, ever-present and all-wise, wishing you to reveal the joy of your life in your heart, which possesses true insight. And look at this. Source is capitalized. Right. So what are they telling you? Go within, guys. Communion within. What have I been saying this whole entire reading? Go within. Communion within. I mean, I haven't been using that exact word, but same difference. All right, guys, divine masculine, the devil in reverse. And then here in the 3D, most likely outcome, divine masculine, three of swords. Next to the six of cups in reverse, yeah, it looks like divine masculine is fucking leaving. Like now, if not now, a week or two. Now, where do you think Divine Masculine is headed? I don't know, probably your house. Why? Because you are Divine Masculine. You are your twin flame, and you're starting to realize that at a deeper fundamental level. You are both that deeper essence, that sense that you have, that something deeper is going on. Listen to that again. You are that deeper essence. You are that sense that something deeper is going on. That sense is you. It's not thought. It's formless. It's formless, guys. You want your twin flame back? You got to go all the way down that rabbit hole. That is the soul, guys. Your twin flame is your soul. Divine Feminine, 
three of wands. And then here, most likely outcome for you, like I said, a complete about face. The queen of cups next to the ace of cups. Bingo! Bling, 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 bingo. Right, divine feminine. You are divine love. It's within you, and it is going to be just overflowing from you. And I'm not talking about romantic love, although there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with romantic love, but the love I speak of is a lot deeper than that. It's who you are. It's inner peace. It's unity consciousness, as it has always been called in ancient Zen spiritualism. Union, unity consciousness, that's where that word came from. Union. Mm, right. This is your spiritual journey. There's no such thing as the twin flame journey. This is just your spiritual awakening. Your twin flame is your spirit. That's all this is, guys. It's not special in the way that the pop culture version of Twin Flames says that it is special. We're going to heal the whole world with our union energy. We're going to go on our mission. No, no, no. This is just your awakening, and that's all it is, guys. That's all you need to focus on. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell button when you subscribe so you get notifications whenever I post one of my lovely YouTube videos. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.